Hey there everyone, Maria Marquis here. In this video, we're gonna take all of the things we've talked about so far and put them together so you can get started with a quick win in your team hub. So the thing I love the most is that you never need to start from scratch. What I'm going to do in my new Coda doc is type slash team hub and notice there's this handy little team hub quick start. If I give that a click, it's gonna give me an awesome starting place. So if I open this up over here, it'll give me a home page where I can customize my team's mission, maybe add more details about uh, sort of the about us details, maybe any information folks should know. We also have a basic project tracker you could use if you like, a team roster, a place for meeting notes, as well as my personal favorite, a place for resources. So folks can know, you know what, what, what do we do for this situation? Pop it into resources. You can even crowdsource if you're feeling exciting. But this is just the beginning because ultimately a Coda doc is about you and your own creativity. So you can now take some of the skills you've already learned and apply it right away. For example, we could add a new page, right? Maybe we wanna have a company FAQs page and then add a little icon, like a nice little question mark is great. You can add sub pages to further break that down. Sub page, this could be the FAQs about benefits. And uh, this one seems kind of fun. You could have an FAQ about time off policies, right? Let's get a nice little vacation icon. Yes, oh, I can feel the breeze already. <laughs> so you've got all of that ability to add pages to help you organize your thoughts. And then if you've got a doc out there that you've been scrolling through infinitely in the past, remember, you can always just grab that, you're gonna copy it, you can paste it in here if you like, and then start to add some of the text editing skills that you've developed by changing the headings, right? Maybe this should be an H1 heading or adding a little bit of color. Like this really feels like green to me. Then even customizing your page over here with the page options by toggling on an outline, the last edited, an author, you could give yourself a subtitle and even pop in that cover photo if you like. Also remember, you can add images in your text too. So if you have an image, you can type slash image and then upload it yourself but I'm just gonna choose Unsplash because maybe I wanna have a nice team image. This one feels really exciting to me. And then I could even drag and drop all of these items around so it looks the way I want. Maybe I wanna have this over here in that nice little multi-column and maybe adjust the size a little bit. So now I've got this thing, it already feels more alive, more exciting and also more usable. So you've got the pages, you've got your text, you've got your page options, and all of a sudden it's starting to express how your team thinks about what you're doing every day. So now it's your turn. Take a look at your information. See how you might wanna organize it. Type slash team hub and let your imagination fly. I'll see you next time.